Uh, my name is Alejandro Macias. I'm a lecturer of visual arts and gallery director of the Gallery of Rusty Hall. I've been here roughly a year and a half. I teach uh, Drawing One, uh, a lot of the core classes, Drawing One, Two-Dimensional Design, Art Depreciation. You know, that's a very good question to ask yourself, what is art? Um, and a lot of the people will actually, you know, will tell me the basic um, answer is uh, it's a form of expression. And I think it's more than just that. Uh, there's a lot of power in art. It is, and this is why I think it's important. Um, it has the power to, to, I think, change someone. Um, but it, it, it doesn't just limit itself to visual art. It could be, like I said, movies or books. And, uh, and the way they perceive it is, is, is what I think is mo most important. Um, that it has the power to change who you are. Uh, you know, you can have one frame of thinking um, and then you look at a painting and then you, you know, like, and, wow, okay, I, I see things in a different way. And then you can actually, like, live the rest of your life a certain way up until you see maybe a different painting. Uh, it, there is a lot of power in, 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 you know, in the way you perceive things. Um, but going back to what art is, I think it is a, is a product of the inner self. I think that's what art is. But you're taking something from one and creating a product, and you're showing that to someone else. You know, I think one of the, the first uh, things that usually come to mind is uh, well, color. But uh, when you walk into a gallery, I think the first thing that I try to do uh, is see the flow of things. You know, I see how one f painting or work flows onto the other. I think that's important, you know, make sure you're, you know, kind of uh, flowing along, you know, along with the paintings and walking down and, uh, and, and kind of trying to appreciate how one piece flows to another. Um, so I think that's important to try to get across to a viewer. Uh, once I, I feel like I've done okay with that, uh, I think the first thing you really try to, you know, what, you know, and it's different. I think it's always different for each viewer. Each, each viewer is gonna have a preference, uh, you know, a certain favorite color, what have you. Um, you know, I, I, I can't really, you know, really say what a person should look at or what sh they shouldn't look at or what should they appreciate. It's, it's up to the viewer. Um, everyone is different. Everyone is, you know, art is subjective. You know, it's, it's up to the viewer to appreciate what they or she or, or he uh, wants, basically. Uh, when I started here, uh, what got me into painting was um, uh, Francis Bacon, Frank Arbach, and uh, Lucian Freud. Those are the ones that got me into painting in, in the first place. Now I've been looking at artists like uh, this. Uh, he used to start off as a graffiti artist, but he does mostly painting now on canvas. His name is Cause. I, I appreciated his, his use of uh, uh, contrasting colors. I like uh, Shepard Ferry for his, uh, his design and aspect. His very simple color palette I actually like as well. Uh, I graduated from Hannah High School back in 2004. I was a three-year grad. Uh, at the time I had uh, taken maybe like a couple of art classes. I hadn't really been focusing on art too much actually. I uh, had a chance there to take uh, uh, Noe Palmenes. He's been, he's been an instructor there for a while now. And I had a chance to see what, what he can do. He's actually really, really, really good as far as technical uh, skill goes. Um, so I, I, I had a chance to take him. Uh, I got my bachelor's here. I'm new to be alumni. I graduated in 2008. And uh, I got my MFA from UTPA 2012. I've been, well, I've been drawing my whole life, um, but I, start, I didn't start taking it seriously until uh, I was here like a freshman or sophomore here. And then that's when I, I figured, okay, well, I can do more with it than just, you know, as a hobby. Um, and so I, when I started taking it seriously, I, I, I put it 110% into it and, and, and it paid off. I think as long as you're studying art and you're interested in it um, and you're focused enough, I think you can do a lot of things for you.